It's not about how what you gain here. Here is but temporal. This is not our eternal destination. Remember, Jesus made it very clear. He said, My kingdom is not of this world. He made it very clear. Let's not distort scriptures. It's there. It's clear. He says, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come and receive you unto myself. See that? And where I am, there you shall be also. Oh, what a promise. What a future. And then Paul went further to say in Colossians, he says, if you be laid with Christ and be risen with him, he says, set your affection on the things above. He says, when Christ, who is your life, shall appear, you shall also appear with him in glory. So that's the future. Christ in you, the hope of glory. What's the future of believers? We're looking forward to the appearance of Jesus. It is beyond the coming of Christ. It is the glorification of the saints. When this mortal can be put on immortality at the appearance of Jesus. Why do we get so distracted by mortal needs of this world? Walk. Study. Do what you have to do. But don't compromise your values in Christ. Stay committed to Christian values. Because we are not here forever. We come from heaven. Jesus calls us ambassadors of the kingdom of God. You have received everything you need in your spirit. That's salvation. The security of your eternity. In fact, eternity is reality. Here is but an illusion. Everything you desire here is but an illusion. Reality is the gift of the Son of God that we have believed in and we have eternal life and we have the assurance of salvation and your names and my names are written in the Lamb's book of life. And the Bible says, Whoso was not found written in the Lamb's book of life was cast into the lake of fire. What a future. What a security that we have in him. The spirit of Antichrist has been unleashed. Demons sent as forerunners for the beast have been sent. So the days have been trapped, hijacked. But there's a good news for all of you. We have stepped into the era of the sons of God. You don't have to be afraid. You simply have to be genuine. Your heart must be open for the truth.